Look at India. It's filthy. The, the air is filthy. That was the then U.S. President Donald Trump at the presidential debate in 2020, describing India's air quality filthy, along with China and Russia. While it was seen as an embarrassment for the government, the provocation was not far from reality. Air pollution is a silent killer, and it has been a persistent concern in India for over two decades now. India is the world's second most polluted country, where fine particulate air pollution shortens an average Indian's life expectancy by 5.3 years, according to the Air Quality Life Index Report 2023 by the University of Chicago. About uh, close to 70% of Indians live in uh, regions where air quality is below India's own uh, air quality standard. And, and you know, to keep this in mind, India's air, uh, uh, air quality standard is actually um, a little more lax compared to global standards. So already, even after, you know, having a lax standard, 70% of Indians, uh, you know, are living in places that don't have that quality of air. Uh, so I think that's a very concerning fact. And of course, the other being that, uh, you know, about uh, 5 to 12 years uh, of life expectancy are lost. But to keep this in mind, it does not mean that old people are dying sooner. It means that young people are becoming older. The most polluted region of India is the Northern Plains, home to more than half a billion people. And some areas fare much worse than the national average. Air pollution in the national capital is costing 11.9 years of the residents' life, according to the Air Quality Life Index report of 2023. How can we fix the air pollution problem? If we have to clean up the air, we need massive energy transition. We need clean fuel in all sectors, industry, power plant, vehicles, um, even household fuel. Similarly, we need massive circularity so that the waste management is done in a way that there is no that the waste does not accumulate in the open or you do not have landfill sites that can catch fire. And then you need massive mobility transition so that the maximum travel trips daily are carried by public transport or walking or cycling, and we can reduce dependence on personal vehicles massively. If you really need to clean up the air, you need regional action because pollution does not follow administrative boundary of a city. It blows between boundaries. Roy Chaudhary believes Indian policymakers should also emphasize on the stringency of the action taken. India can look to Beijing to understand how it tackled the problem of air pollution the city transitioned to cleaner fuels across the provinces around Beijing, followed by stringent compliance and monitoring over a period of time. The Indian government on its part has also initiated measures like the National Clean Air Programme to combat air pollution. It aims to improve air quality in 131 cities, but there is still much work to be done. Achieving tangible results will require greater investment in sustainable infrastructure and continued efforts to reduce industrial emissions. Naneet Vaibhav of Shardul Amarchand Mangaldas points out the need for cost-effective technological innovations, adoption of solar energy and greater awareness among stakeholders to this end. Our uh, collective responsibility, you know, we are 1.4 billion people. So uh, we, uh, this is something which is kind of, you know, uh, uh, the responsibility for each of us, and uh, this will not happen overnight. But then the government also has to ensure that uh, they kind of uh, facilitate this behavioural change. Meanwhile, global pollution has been declining since 2013, despite the increase in particulate pollution in certain geographies. That's because of the successful efforts to reduce pollution by some countries. Is there a lesson to learn from there? Deloitte's Shailesh Tyagi hints at a solution from his personal experience. Based on my first-hand experience in Sydney, the Sydney city and the famous George Street, uh, if you if you go there and see, um, you in the past the whole thing was very congested with taxis, cars, and buses, right? P, -P cars. Everyone is trying to go to the office, reach office. But what the city of Sydney did, they came up with a tram system. So no cars, no buses allowed. Everyone who comes to the office will get alternate routes to their offices, right? But the main street, only trams, plus a wider area to walk, great benches to rest, trees. And that has really changed the pollution levels right in the CBD. Otherwise, you could smell the pollution. You can smell the pollution, not anymore. 
So those are some of the stuff uh, being done in London, you know, and, and other parts of the world. As an emerging economy, India is at the cusp of sizable growth as the country is poised for a significant expansion in infrastructure, resource and energy consumption. Air pollution could be an unavoidable byproduct. How can India grow its economy through stronger climate action? When countries grow, when they reach a higher level of uh, you know per capita incomes, when they're able to grow their economies, they're actually able to deal with en- environmental degradation even better because they have the kind of resources needed to make those transitions towards cleaner uh, you know ways of doing things. So for example, take Germany. Germany now is a obviously a very rich country and it is a manufacturing powerhouse. Uh, you know Germany closer to the world war days when they had just come out of that time, they, they were not as prosperous as they are today obviously. Their uh, environmental situation was truly terrible. You you know their uh, their rivers would have black filth flowing on it. Take today, they are a manufacturing powerhouse. All the biggest equipments, machinery, cars come from Germany. And still, uh, you know, their their rivers are crystal clear. Their air is pure. India Shaw has a daunting task ahead to address its air pollution crisis. But with concerted efforts from all stakeholders and lessons learned from other nations, we could clear up our horizons and breathe easy. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. He's about to land his dream job. Business Standard